Romans chapter 8, verse 3 says this. We aren't saved by sins, from sin's grasp by knowing the commandments of God because we can't and don't keep them. But God put into effect a different plan to save us. He sent his own son and destroyed sin's control over us by giving himself as a sacrifice for our sins. How many of you have an electric drill at home? Anybody? Okay. How many of you use the drill? Okay. So I brought a drill just to kind of illustrate for you what this is all about. You see, sometimes we're like this drill. I use the drill for putting in screws a lot of times. In fact, my daughter and I, we put together a nice little box out on our patio the other day. And uh, every once in a while, you know, I was putting in the screws. And every once in a while, she was putting in the screws. And I noticed that from time to time, one of us or both of us, we would have it in reverse. You know, there's two ways that you can put in, you know, use the drill. You can put it in uh, reverse. You can put it forward. Now, when you've got it in the right gear going forward, you can always put in the screw. It works. But if it's in reverse, have you ever tried to put a screw in reverse? All you get is smoke. You understand that? That's hot. I want you to know something. People are like this drill. They've got it all backwards. <laughs> They've got it all backwards. You see, they think that in order to get into heaven, they have to do something really good. Be good, be moral, be upright. God says, you've got it all backwards. It's not by what you've done, it's by what I've done. God says it's not by what good deeds you've done, it's by what Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross. And I gotta tell you something, if you've got it backwards, you're gonna get the same effect. You're gonna get heat and you're gonna get smoke. And that's not found in heaven. <laughs> heat and smoke are not found in heaven. It's the other place. What's that place called? Thank you. So when it comes to getting into heaven, we need to understand it's by God's grace, not by our good works. Why? Because our good works will never be good enough, but God's grace is always enough.